So you've given us a great idea about how to actually go about making these videos themselves, but uh, I've missed out on one of the most important questions is, what sort of equipment do you need? Like what sort of cameras, what uh, microphones or uh, speakers, what, what do you need to actually uh, purchase so that you're ready to go? Yeah, okay, so this is again a, a question that really depends on how uh, complex and professional you want your setup to be. Uh, I really don't think you actually need half of the stuff that a lot of people find themselves using because it really um, it really depends on A, um, you know, what kind of quality you're going to be broadcasting in, which can be dependent on your net connection as well. If you're only going to be broadcasting in um, standard HD, then you don't really need like the top of the line best camera because it's not really going to translate that image, you know, anyway. But uh, I think just a, a really good quality webcam is the first thing that you want to start with. Uh, I've always just used Logitech cams. Um, they're really great, good quality, and they talk to the software really well, which is probably the most important and useful thing. So I use a Logitech Stream Cam at the moment. Um, it's really good as well because the new ones actually go from um, horizontal to vertical. So if you want to use it for like, uh, mobile phone content and stuff like stories or Instagram TV or whatever, that's really useful that you can switch from one to the other. Uh, I also have, I think a really good microphone is the other thing that you want to kind of think about getting because uh, your headset mic is totally fine to use. But um, if you really want to get a good kind of crisp sound, then uh, a, a nice microphone is good. I've um, switched from a different setup um, over the years, I've used like kind of mic arms that kind of hang down. I've used ones that come across, but I found them all tend to be intrusive uh, and block my monitor in some way. So now I've just kind of settled with this little stand and I found this the best. It's like, I just tuck it right up close to me and then my arms are free to use the keyboard. Nothing's blocking my screens and I find it's the best. Uh, and there's a lot of, this one is a Blue, uh, this is the Yeti X by Blue, which is uh, really great. And it has really cool software as well that allows you to um, mix with all the different settings. You can have different presets and stuff if you want some kind of old timey radio sound, if you wanted that, or you want something crisp and clear. My big issue is that I have really high ceilings. So this room gets quite echoey. Um, and again, as I mentioned, I don't want to kind of ugly up the walls with soundproofing. So I just try to um, use specific settings with the microphone to minimize that as much as possible. Uh, the, the PC that you use is obviously going to be really important. Some people use a two PC setup um, to stream from so that they have one PC dedicated to just running games and then the second PC handles the streaming. Uh, I don't want to do that again because I'm all about keeping this as, as simple as possible. And for me, the more stuff you add uh, when you go to troubleshooting, that just extends the process of troubleshooting. So I like one PC for everything. Uh, I have a Lenovo Legion T730, uh, which is great. It does everything. So I play games on that uh, and I stream from that as well. And it handles it all great. Um, I just have a Logitech mouse and keyboard, which is fine also. Um, and then the uh, Elgato uh, green screen as well, which I mentioned, which was um, which is super useful for um, portability of streaming and again, not having a, an obtrusive kind of setup. Uh, those are the main things that I think that you really need to kind of uh, focus on for streaming is like uh, a good set of lights, a good camera, a good microphone, and I would say a good PC. Everything else is kind of just like icing on the cake. Yeah, I've managed to get away so far with doing everything on my uh, Y740 Legion laptop. So I'm doing games and recording on OBS and streaming all at the same time. And it's uh, managed that pretty well. I think the uh, the RTX 2070 graphics card in there has helped a lot. Uh, but uh, at the same time for the, the videos as well, I'm just using my Legion uh, H500 headset. I'm using that microphone right now. Uh, with the monitor speakers, so e even that plugs in perfectly to OBS. And uh, as as you said, like whatever sort of suits your budget, it looks like the software will be able to handle it most of the time. And just how much you spend will be based on the quality that you're going to get out out at the other end, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, I I just I guess I can kind of see why people would want a, a two PC setup, but for me, like. It's you just I want everything to be as streamlined as possible. I have a stream deck actually that I've never used because it's adding an extra layer of complication uh, <laughs> to the mix. But I have one. It's a, basically a device that has programmable like a sort of macro buttons that allow you to queue up 
um, animations or uh, certain scenes. And if you if you have like a two camera setup, for example, and you want another one to be a close up, and you want to cut to a close up midstream, uh, you know that's a cool way that you can do that. There's different things that you can do to play with it and make the stream more entertaining. Uh, I'm not a great multitasker, so I need to just focus on gaming and talking to people, and that's enough for me. <laughs> Well, thanks for the last time to Hex on helping us out on learning more about making content from home. I have to say it's going to be a lot more useful in making my own content from my backyard. So have a great time using your Legion device. <laughs>